Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing? Hope you're having a good day. Just waiting to see whether you can hear me as well as hear the game. There's always that pre-stream <laughs> worry that nothing's going to work. Good, I don't stream that often. Hello, yes, afternoon. Ah, good. Everybody can hear me. Fantastic. So we're watching a bit of New Zealand scrolling around in the background. That building there looks like it's some ammo. 1800, doesn't it? Yes, you can hear me. Excellent. Fantastic. Good. Well, why don't we make a little start then? We turn this off here. Don't forget, if you like City Skyline, subscribe. Leave a like on the stream as well. That would be absolutely fantastic if you could. I'm just very quickly going to just send a tweet out and then we're going to go. Uh, if I retweet this and say, quick tweet, live now. There we go. And then everybody knows. And then we'll get stuck in. Bom, 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 bom. If I turn off this, we should go straight to City Skylines and all the rest of it. Look at that. Very good. Well, lovely to see you all. Isn't Twitter dead right now? Well, I hope not. As far as I know, <laughs> it's, it's all working okay. But uh, let's leave that running for a little bit. But yeah, there we go. So thank you for joining me. So we, we, did, a, uh, we did a little vote to see what city we would work on. And it was New Zealand. So we're going to be working on New Zealand. And we also did a little vote to say what we're we going to work on in New Zealand. And the vote was working on mass transit. 566 people watching. That is absolutely lovely. 148 likes. Oh, a bit lacking there. A bit lacking. <laughs> if you enjoy it, you can leave a like. Not going to force you to do so. But yeah, so here we are in New Zealand. So what, you know, what would you like me to do with the mass transit? I mean, a lot of people always be complaining about my bus route. Oh, remember. Mehmet. Ali Barak Scan. Nearly a member for two years. Thank you very much. Tea Village Builder member. 22 months. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, so what do you reckon? Buses is the thing that most people complain about. Nuke the whole map. Not sure I'm going to be doing that. Oh, it's getting dark in New Zealand. Light mail, metro, ferries. Oh, we can have a look at that as well, can't we? Ferries, bus routes, trains, the works. We've got plenty of time. I'm aiming to do a couple of hours. We shall see how it goes, but that is the plan. 256 likes increasing, 640 people watching. Lovely. <laughs> I live streamed about two months ago. Yeah, I, you know, I'd. hello, Mr. Needs. I, I mean, if people forget i don't blame them to be honest because it's so few and far between oh. quick skip it skip a tea pick quick sip of tea i should say oh no trees in the building I, i'll keep going around finding these trees <laughs> in the building let's come out of this view and have a look trees in the building are everywhere we're going to speed this up a little bit i normally have it on i think it's 59 day night speed off and we're going to get that nice and in the middle of the day there we go. So it's all looking good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So hopefully, everything is working okay. What's that coming up on there? Frames missed you. Oh, okay. I'm missing some frames due to rendering, but that's just the way it goes with City Skylines and live streaming. So, yeah, let's have a look at Hello from the other side of the pond. More blimps. Everybody loves blimps. You know, we haven't actually got any blimps and i just blimps are one of those things it's like if i particularly had a place to have a blimp just go backwards and forwards i might do a blimp um helicopters yeah i think they're a little bit more realistic blimps I, they're just not my thing oh jumpy game we're going to get some jumpy game where is this guy over here going is he going to go under this bridge Oh, no, he's going out that way. Oh, I was going to see if anyone was going to come through our amazing bridges that lift themselves up. Blimp to the National Park. 
blimps can get a bit messy. Yeah, um, blimps near the airport. Unfortunately, with blimps, yeah, they sort of fill up. I, I always think the, the mass transit stuff is very weighted. They weight it in the game and say, look, we want loads of people queuing up for this or for that. Look at the tarantula station. Very busy. And, yeah, so you put something like blimps and helicopters with the other one. It's weighted so much that it is just nuts. So, name the statue Prometheus. He's actually already got a name. Uh, if we go over to... Here he is, down here. Anybody remember what his name is? I love Tarantula Plaza. It's fantastic. You need to ring Metro around your downtown. Express trains. Taxis. Taxis don't really work properly. Anybody remember the name of this chap? Look at him. Magnificent. Looking out. Not enough routes on Tarantula Station. No, well, I've taken some routes out. If you watch the video, you know why. Because they weren't going anywhere. Robert Spartacus. <laughs> Dave Dave would be a good name Bob Looks like a Steve Robert Great content Biffa That would be a funny name But thank you John It's me Biffa the Mighty uh, Do you know what I, I wish I had a six pack Like this I've got a four pack Achilles Okay I'll tell you <laughs> Let's hope the name's Actually on there now From what I've remembered The statue of Hugo Bob King Bob It's not it, Kevin No Hugo, yes. Boris. Earl Grey. All the names are coming in now. Good on you, you've got a one pack. Is that like from your neck down to your waist? Just a one pack. <laughs> 35 weeks pregnant. Well, congratulations. That's fantastic. Right, Hugo, he's definitely there. He, he is indeed. He is indeed. Right, okay, so... Let me adjust my monitor so I can actually see this a bit better. There we go. It's very bright. The sun is shining in my office and it is very bright in the office. So, this is a very busy city, as you can see. I can turn all of that off and we can get a bit of a view. We do have a need for residential because there's a lot of these people ooh, complaining. Not enough workers. And I am wondering whether, if we jump into our policy, is. I suddenly thought I wasn't recording then. I just looked down at my stream deck and I've got a record button in the corner. And I was like, oh no, it's not on. I've been doing all... And I suddenly went, oh no, it's okay, I'm live. Like, I've got a heart attack. <laughs> <coughs> what a bonehead. I'm wondering whether the education level of my people's gone up so much um, that I need to put on this one. Oh dear. Is it this one? The new technologies alter the nature of the industrial workforce. All industrial workplaces are for well and highly educated citizens. Increases production output by 50%, reduces workplace by 30%. I'm wondering whether... I think that's the one, isn't it? Where they get to a certain level of education and they won't work there. Um, graduated, 81%, 66%, 49%. And I'm thinking that might be what it is. Let's just have a quick look at a couple of these. Ten jobs available. So we need educated and well-educated. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, my unemployment is probably at 1%. I probably just don't have enough people. People employed, jobs available, population. I think that's what it is. I just think I've got too much industry and stuff i've got to be honest i could probably just redevelop all of this here and just remove it let's get rid of some of these trees on here space already occupied i'm not trying to build i'm just trying to get rid of the trees i reckon we could just remove all of these dezone it and have this as some sort of other area have it repurposed need residential yeah i know we need residential yeah i was just sort of wondering because I mean, you will sort of get the issue where if you get rid of stuff like this, then you'll have other places saying, we haven't got enough goods, and it's like you can't flip and win. But I reckon if we get rid of all of this, like a so, hopefully they'll all dezone. Let's just speed the game up. Sometimes things don't dezone. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the district name. Oh, yeah, I've hidden the district names, haven't I? Let's have a look. Oh, they're all historical buildings, aren't they? Right, where does the Robin District cover? 
Got the winky wonky in section. Okay, let's just cover all of that. So that's all the buildings that are in here. And then clear historical. And then clear my throat. Yeah, they're still not going, are they? See, none of them are... Okay, well, let's just get in there. Let's just get in there and get rid of these. Zoop. Boink. There we go. And then maybe we'll, we'll have a think. Well, it'll just give us a new area that we could perhaps put something entirely different in. I'm just getting rid of all of them. I don't like these ones that like little signs by the side of the road. I just think they're weird. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of the lot. There we go. Uh, what are these down here? Same, they're going. Got to check the power. They're still going to be jumping across, okay. So, dropping some stuff off, and the building's gone. Isn't that a bit annoying? You've driven all this way. Oh, there's one that escaped. I think that's okay. How's the power doing in and out of here? Uh, got a connection up there as well. Let's just make a connection over the highway into there and then we've just got this double connection we can get rid of this one whoa first time watching jerry airways thank you very much 993 viewers cool blimey governor strike alike well thank you all for coming out i know it's a weird time of day oh have i still got some of this zoned but you know this is the time i do things uh later on in the day <laughs> i'll be <laughs> in bed <laughs> no, later on in the day i'll be doing things with my kids so, I should make that a little bit smaller. Oh, so it's been a life changer knowing that you can change the size of that just with one key, which I had no idea you could do until I saw someone doing it. Overcharged egg, I think. Let's get some of the ones off the road down here, down here, off that one there. There we go. A few down there, a couple off of the winky wonky intersection. So we've still got some buildings around here. So we've got a bus depot, inland water treatment plant. So I'm just wondering whether we could sort of shift these things over here. I've got the game pools, haven't I? Shift these things over here. These are offices, but I don't like the way they've grown in. So they're going to go. Boink. There we go. Delete, 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 delete. Yeah, shift these things over here. And then we could maybe put a little bit of residential sort of around, around this little lake. How about that? How's the water pump connected to the power? Yeah, it's got a power line coming along there. So that might end up going as well at some point. Um, so let's just have a look what we've got. So we've got waste transfer, waste transfer. I'm just thinking of redoing these roads a little bit here. Let's take pick a pick a mod. Thank you. Very slow. So anybody here who plays on console has been um, pleased with the new... With the new update, what do you think of it? We're going to do a bit of mountain terraforming here. Have you uh, tried it out? What do you think? Are you going to move? It's like jumping for some reason. There we go. You see the metro extends for Sims who can't walk good. <laughs> That'll be coming up soon. We'll have that round there, and then we can start maybe utilising that for some of this. That is pretty big, isn't it? What's this one here? That's a small one. We've got a couple of three small ones there. What's this? Bus depot. That will do. We'll move you. We'll give you your own little area there. What are you holding? Tank reservoir for water. Gutted the updates are not on a PS4. Yeah, unfortunately, it sort of gets to the point, doesn't it, where your old console can't do it anymore. And that's just life, isn't it? That's just the way it goes. Um, I'm just going to use the move it mod. I'm going to boink, boink that around to there. We sort of try and utilise the space as much as possible. That can come up the side. That can come off there. That seems to be want to be connecting there. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is grab this. Biff Alive. Best day ever. Indeed. Welcome. Hi, Georgia from Georgia. New Zealand versus Blighty on the world. Oh, everyone's got their favourites. Let's make that the same height as that. And then I'm going to grab that and put it up against that road. And then we'll just adjust the pipe. The pipe. I can get to... No. I can get to the pipe. There we go. And then... Oh, is that where it connects there? Okay. That's a weird place to connect. Excellent. So making a better, bit better use of that space. 
these, this is the biggest one. Do I actually need this in their water treatment plant? What have we got going on here? Sewage treatment's pretty low. Make a water treatment plant complex and put all the waste water. Yeah. Well, we could do that, couldn't we? We could do that. Hello from Switzerland. Hello, Switzerland. Now that we've started doing that, could we pick a different spot for all our water treatment stuff where we've got a lot of industry and things? Like over here, this is like, oh, jumpy. Got like this spot here. I mean, there's a lot of buildings over there. But whether we have like a little water industry plant sort of at either side of this road and that would help utilize that space as well what map did i use for this oh my goodness it's been so long since i've <laughs> it's this map it's been so long Woo. airplane since i did it I, I really can't remember to be honest um yeah let's do that let's let's just build a little complex and sort of utilize this space at the back here so that can go and attach to there no it can't um, let's go out a little bit further. Like that. Like that. And like this. And then we're going to get that into there. And then we're going to get trees off ward. Biff alive! We celebrate! Thank you very much. How many people do I have now? How many people? I've got two people called my sons. Oh, you mean watching? 1,162. Good gravy. Welcome, everybody. I've no idea what my biggest uh, live stream amount is i think that's going to end up coming out here somewhere but we'll see how it goes what i'm thinking of doing is removing all of these trees because they're all just going to get covered over anyway <laughs> gone brothers with 14.99 australian dollar ruse rebuilding new zealand with mods and assets was the most fun i've ever had it's still my favorite build and glad you liked my rebuild cheers Brad from Australia. Thank you very much, Brad. No offence, but I put your video on to go to sleep. <laughs> That's fine. No offence taken. What you should try and do is put my video on like double speed. You won't be going to sleep then. Um, we're going to go for these and we're just going to put a load of these down against this road here. Oh, I was hoping I could fit three in. But I really can't. So we're going to go for two of those. And then we've got this little small one, which now I've done it, I want to put in the middle. Like this. I'm going to go for that one there. Oh, almost pressed the wrong button there. I've been playing Factorio. I nearly pressed the Q button to grab the, grab the thing. There we go. And then if we hook these up, let's get some pipe under here. Boink. There we go. And you can all have your own connection. Because it just seems to work better that way. There we go. So that should shoot up. I'll make a nice little complex there. Nothing too complicated. What I'm going to do with this road, I'm going to bring this one down here. Factorio stream went, nah, no plan to do Factorio stream. I, I'm enjoying playing Factorio. But I really am not an expert in Factorio. So I'm just sort of playing it for a little bit of fun. I'm learning. I've literally... Let's go like that. I've literally just got up to... Um, let's have a look. Let's go in here. Grab this. Actually, I'm going to make it larger first. I've literally just got up to... Oh, what's the research I've just got up to? I'm trying to think while I'm doing this. Mehmet with 200 TRYs. I don't know what they are. Let me know in the comments. But thank you very much for your support. For your funicular garbage problem, why not use pedestrian areas and use a policy that allows all garbage cargo to come to service point? That is a fantastic idea. We could do that now. That is uh, that is an option, which we didn't have before. So thank you for that. I'll keep that in mind, but thank you for the 200 TRYs. But great idea. Turkish Liras. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Thank you. Um. So what are we up to? What are we up to? So we're going to go over here and get rid of these ones and just see what we're left with. We're probably going to have to try and add some more in. I mean, yeah, we are. To be honest, all of these roads could end up going. 
we'll leave that sort of thing there. Let's fly this way. Somebody say, hey, overcharged egg. Well, how the flipping heck are you? Lovely to see you. Do a Factorio series. Um, no, I think you'd have to be very good to have people watch you do a Factorio series. We could use this space along here. It's just, oh, this is all industry. Ivan, with 500. I'm going to start guessing what these things are. I'm going to do something that me and my boys do when we're watching the footy. When it's got like the score in the top corner, it'll say like, say it's Tottenham versus Man United. It'll be TOT versus MAN. So we, we make up a name for each of the letters. Um, so TOT might be T on Toast versus Muppets and Nanas. So we've got... Oh, all right, thanks. Egg, thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm doing all right. So 500 RSDs. Thank you, Ivan. Hello, people. Biff is live. Tea for everyone. Tea on Ivan. So RSDs, that's going to be... Uh, river snake dances so 500 river snake dances from ivan so kind thank you very much i'm thinking now i wanted to sort of make that straight i mean it's a weird sort of turn going in there isn't it i don't like that we might just connect that down here instead let's do that we'll make this a little t-junction in here oh it's ruined me ward look ruined me ward how dare when will i show my face I, I, i'm showing my face literally right now but you'd have to be a little bit closer to see it. So, sorry about that. My family have seen it. They like it, which is good. Uh, stretch. There we go. So, what I might just do here then is... Well, our, our city is probably dying around us from a lack of, a lack of water. <laughs> so, I'm never going to fit one of those in. But I reckon we could fit ooh, another one there. Yeah, see, that's going to be too close. Mm. Mm. Maybe not in there. I don't want to get mobbed in the street. You can imagine. Walk outside my house. Get mobbed. Ah! You're the random guy on YouTube. But yeah, that's me. Alright then, have a nice day. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's try that again. Move it. If I did it... Well, I did, do you know what? I mean... Who, who was it that did a face reveal recently? Dream. That's a whole nother subject. But yeah, so my kids, they, they watch Minecraft videos. And Dream did a face reveal. He just looks like a normal guy. From what I've seen. And uh, But at school, they all say he looks like a turnip. Now, I don't know where, I don't know where that's come from. But like, there's always that danger, isn't there? You could be like the most handsomest man alive... And I'll get all the kids sound like I could turn it. I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't know if I could deal with that, to be honest. So here we go. They're all coming round here. That is not under the road, but it's like near enough. So let's go here and here. How's that doing? That's going to bump up the sewage treatment a bit. Love your videos. Help my city skills a lot. Vanilla PS4. Thank you, Martin. It's just, I'm just a sentient cup of tea. I am. Talking of which. Am I saying I don't look like a normal guy? I do. I do look like a normal guy. Is this one not going to work? Thank you very much. I think that will probably keep us going for a while. And I could always have a little bit of detailing around there, which at the moment just sort of involves whacking some trees around things. Hiding it from the main road with a few more trees. And just a couple more trees and then one or two more trees because that's the level of detail. Oh, here we go. I've got another one. So we've got from Meatball 49 CZKs. I really like the work you put in New Zealand. Thank you very much. So a CZK, that's going to be cabbage from Zachary's Kitchen. So thank you very much for the 49 cabbages. Your mum called, what did I miss? You've missed. Me oh, few candy. You've missed me playing uh, Minecraft, I was going to say. City Skyline. Few candy, welcome. Thank you for joining us. How does the Red Bull trophy look? It's still in the corner of my <laughs> office on my desk. Okay, where were we? No, I don't want that. I want to go back over here. I haven't seen Biffa's mum for years. Greeting Biffa from Slovakia, where we drink tea infused with alcohol. Well, that sounds interesting. 
Sabakubol with five euros. Ah, oh, that was easy, that one. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Hello. 1,344 of you. That is very kind. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's continue back over here. What's going on down here? All the post fans are out in force. So we've cleared up this area over here. Am I going to upload the live to? Yes, this will go uh, as a video on the on the webs, on the tubes of you after I finish. It will just go straight up live. Surprise, I haven't been sponsored by Yorkshire Tea. They did send me <laughs> some boxes of tea at one point. This is all going to go all these roads ages ago. I think maybe when they first sort of found me. And uh, yeah, sent me sent me some boxes of tea, which were great. They were great. They were. Went a bit Yorkshire there, didn't I? I gave gave some away as well, which was which was nice of me. I was going to say, <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, it was nice that they gave me the tea. You were accidentally attacked by an evil penguin today. See Discord. Okay, Bradders. Well, maybe you. I, I I think I saw something about a penguin actually, but I've been I've been super busy. I've had lot lots to do today. Oh, we'll just get a bit of parking in here. Let's have a look down here. And by the way, that's my phone vibrating, not yours. Uh, I should be mayor of my city. That would be great, wouldn't it? That would be great. Car parking. Can never remember I go, what they're called. Just feel like... Oh, whoops. Destroy, let's try that again. Press enter, then move. There we go. I just want a little bit of parking around here somewhere. Without causing any problems, we're going to join that up there. Hello from Slovakia. Is that Robert or Robert? Hello, welcome. Uh, okay, there's not so many options there. If I put car park in, we'll get some options. Greetings from the Philippines. Well done for joining us. Hot beverage in hot scorching days. Uh, that's uh, what a lot of people do in England. So I seem to be lacking a lot of car parks. I normally have... Oh, I know why. It's just called parking, isn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Biff of the Bonehead forgets the name. See, this is playing and reading and talking and everything all at once. These are what I'm looking for. Just something like that. I just want a little something there, like so. And I'm also going to turn that off so we can see what I'm doing. Greetings from the real New Zealand. Hello, Mr. Mac. I think you've been here before, so technically this would be the return of the Mac. <laughs> The jokes are flowing. Where else? We've got parking there and parking there. I feel like these buildings need a little bit of parking. But there's not a lot of space, is there, for parking? We could probably squeeze one in there. There we go. Perfect parking. No one's going to complain at that. Miss the need. Do you not miss the need? As soon as I said it, I knew you'd be slapping your head. I just knew. I knew that's what was going to happen. There probably wouldn't be many people that would get that. What the monkeys is going on there? Can you not... So if I do that, I have to flatten the land first and then put it on. All right, fair enough. What? Is there something underneath there? What the heck is that? Wrong button. Is it just the edge of this? I think it might be just the edge of this, which is a little bit odd. Boast 2000 with 10 euros. Thank you very much. Comment from back in the day. Rename Blakeway, gravel path for the Japanese temp uh, temperature temple to Sake Way. That is, that is a, a nice idea, actually. Let's just see if I can squeeze this in here. What is that? Do you know what? That is, like, so close. We're just going to go with that. I've no idea what that is under there. It's like the edge of this or something. Really weird. Um, Blake, Gravel path by Japanese temple. BOHS2000, don't know how you pronounce that. Bolts2000, Bolts. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Over. <laughs> Here it is. See it by the trees. Okay. Uh, gravel path by the temple. That would be down here. Sophie Street. Is that. Oh, there's trees on the road. Um, let's see if we can find it. Let's just carefully remove some of those. Gravel path by the Japanese temple. Let's come out of move it mod. That's the Japanese castle. I think that's probably near where you mean. Biffu's great, but I can't stand tea. What? 
Jane, get out! No, you're fine. That's that's okay. Tea's not for everybody. Yeah, this is the Japanese temple. I mean, it used to be a gra maybe you've seen the gravel path. Oh, it's like a temple complex. You probably saw the gravel path in the video, and then there's been another video where they've up uh, upgraded it. Temples next to Paradox Plaza. I can see this taking like three hours as you try and direct me as to where I'm going. And then it finally comes through three hours later on the chat. And they never find it. Is it by the pagoda? All right. I'm going to give this like 10 more seconds if I don't find the darn thing. Oh, temple. Found it. Okay. Is there a gravel path? No gravel path. It's right next to Waldo. Left a bit. Let's go back in time and go left a bit. Mark with the four dollars. Thank you very much. And I, I'm going to say it's a cup of tea animation there. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, tree on Lord. Got to get rid of those when we see them because there's so flipping many of them. It's like tree in car park. There you go. My phone is like exploding. Anyway. I'm going to step away from the temple uh, back to where we were. It was around this side of the PG tips. Zoink into here. There we go. Excellent. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Things are still growing in the middle of nowhere, aren't they? It was a gravel path. Any road there would suit. Oh, right, okay. It was a gravel path. Let, let's, let's rename a road then. I've lost myself again. Uh, by the temple. Let's, let's name this one here. Poplar Street. So this is nothing particular. This is now going to be... It's okay way. There we go. Excellent. Yay. Good. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let's continue over here. Bizwas Bandari. Bishwas Bandari. With two Australian dollaroos. Midnight and Biffa is live. It's not midnight here. It's not my fault you've got some weird timing system over there on the other side of the planet. Looking for the temple became a Punch and Judy affair. It's behind you! It's to the left! It's to the right! We found it in the end. Unpopular street. Oh dear. So unpopular we named it. Quit sip of tea. Have a nice time at work, Mark. Have a great day. Ah, right. So, just thinking of redoing this a little bit. But we've got this bridge here, haven't we? So... This road is definitely going to be changing. Let's just pick that. It's probably a bridge, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's just pick something here. If the time zone is right, I've got the median on my side, indeed. So this is going to be, like, redone and be, like, super nice. But it's going to have sort of a... Oh, well, we're going to make it some sort of... Oh, I don't want to get into doing a pedestrian area. They're just... That's a bit of a pain sometimes to do. Uh, Four-lane avenue with trees. This one here is, like... Large avenue with grass, so it's got that nice look about it. Without it being too many lanes. So if you come down here, swing under the bridge, and then just go straight out the back. That gives you, like, the way in, up to there. And then we can have a few little houses and things coming off of there. Something like that. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate that. Uh, this little turn here, to me, looks a little bit wonk so it feels like it should be like that but then that straight road's going to come out there so let's try and then we do this whoa whoa flipping it that looks a bit better than it let's go with that instead and then we'll go straight out here so it sort of changes the angle of where that goes Whoa, mamma mia. Loco, loco ombre. Gifted 10 Biffa Play Indie Games memberships. Wow, that is so fantastic of you. And a load of people have now got memberships. Andrew, not that kind of doctor. Does, Kristen, Alex, Florian, Moonchild, Tobias, Coffee Beam, Frawa. That is just fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Bishwas, as well. Wow. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm sure one of those in memberships will now thank you as well. You are so kind. Man, I tell you what. This this live stream of malarkey, it's like a flipping roller coaster, isn't it? Let's just enlarge that a little bit. 
Let's give this boom giveaway sign, which it's got. Is that another 10? Is that the same 10? It's the same 10. I've looked up again. It's like, what the heck? Look at that. Hang on a minute. That's another. That's more memberships. It is a different one. Memit. 20 memberships. As Trainee McTrain Face says, what a lad. Oh, man, you guys. That is so kind of you. Thank you very much. Why is there traffic lights and I can't turn them off? That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody who's just joining as well. And thank you for all the amazing support. Thank you. The City Skyline community is so nice. It is so nice. I would 100% agree with that. That is just brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm thinking of redoing this street here and have it joined down there. So it's away. All of everything this side to the right hand side. 30 memberships gifted. That's just blown my mind that has. Thank you. You can't see but I'm putting my hands together to say thank you very much. So, so kind. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of jiggery pokery here. Dominic. Welcome to Tea Village Builder. Welcome. Oh, the community. It is just so amazing. It is so amazing. That's going to go into there. Well, that did not work, did it? <laughs> well, there's like extra roads under there now. What the heck? I didn't think that was looking right. There was some weird, something weird going on there, wasn't there? That's going to join there. Oh, man. That was just brilliant. Um, thank you so much. I know these two junctions are quite close, but what's actually coming out of this isn't too large anyway, so I'm not overly concerned. They've got a stop sign there. I'm going to make that give way. Just keep them going. So now we can keep that separate from this. We've got a little bit more space we can work with over here. Yep, the light, this will go up as soon as we finish here. So if you miss miss it, don't see it all or whatever. Uh, yeah, let's do a crossing there. Then you, you'll be able to see that. One side of that bridge is lower than the other. Whoa. Uh, I, don't, I think it's all... Oh yeah, this one here. You're right. And that should all be the same height. Let us do something here then. Let us grab... Oh, is it two? Oh, it's two separate, two separate things. Let's just get all this at the same height. Lorna Van Tilburg, wake, welcome to T Village Builders membership. Thank you very much for your support. Hey, Biffy, you're by far the best City Skylines channel. Christopher, Scanlon, you're too kind. We'll leave the rock. No rock messing today. Thank you very much. So if I make all of this the same height as that... Let's just see, because this seems a little bit higher here. Just keep an eye on all of this down here. Tilburg. Or is it Tilburg? Did I misread it? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, that lifts it up a bit. So that, that is all level. I know we've got some trees on here. We'll, we'll get rid of them now, because otherwise I'm going to forget. Thank you, Daryl. Glad you're enjoying the stream. So that's high enough there. That's high enough there. The detail on this map is amazing. I love this map. This has to have been my favourite map as well. Yeah, there we go. It's all nice. Nice at the right height now. Thank you, Frederick. Some love for Overcharged Egg and a few candy as well. Very kind. Very kind. Right. Very kind. It's just too kind. That's what it is. Too kind. Okay, so. Tea check. I've got the tea. I've been drinking the tea. Shall we just pick a normal tree-lined road like this for through here? Bush is still on the track. Where? <gasps> How? Well, they must be like industrial strength bushes. Whoop, wrong button. Boink. There we go. And all the way up to the line. Everything else okay? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yep, everything else is okay. You really struggle with terrain tools, any tips? Yeah, just uh, open up a blank map and play with them. Heavy Arms 55 with $5. I think you need the Navy to defend your T shipments. Will you ever build a military base? No. But thank you very much for the suggestion. Hmm. 
sip of tea. Thank you, Dominic. Isn't the area polluted? It might be. But we're not going to tell the upcoming residents. Yeah, see, this was slightly polluted. Pretty sure if I just whack a load of trees down, that will get rid of the pollution super quick. That may be a completely made up piece of information. Let's speed up the game and watch where the pollution goes down. Um, Daryl says you'd love to show me the city but on console yeah I'd probably have to pop my any house to do that recommendations for tea I don't think that's going to make any difference um, yeah um, Yorkshire tea okay well, welcome everybody wow I wasn't expecting this many people to come and join us I'm going to take this road here and I just want to sort of get as much sort of housing in here as we can so it probably is going to be a little bit gridded but i just want to fill it with housing landscaping and because replace it with dirt that might work let's just get a bit of landscaping going here so brush size so we've got a nice sort of flat building plot we can push the mountain back a touch Dead of it with two dollars. Any plans to do five builders one city again? Oh, it was it was good fun, and it was it's always great to do stuff with other creators. But as with everything, I'm always trying to sort of see how it is, how it goes down on the channel. And I think what was happening was is rather than sort of the intended outcome, which is someone watches mine, and they go to Overcharged Egg, if that's next, then they go to Few Candy, and they sort of follow you around, and everybody gets a nice boost of subscribers, you know, which is which is fantastic. What was happening was, is people weren't following around, whether it was from mine to someone else's, or from someone else's to mine, or whatever, whichever way. So they wouldn't see what was coming before. So then it'd be like a one-off episode in some city they know nothing about. And... It just wasn't as much interest. Um, oh, yeah, I meant to go down there as well. It's hard to play and talk at the same time. <laughs> Which is a real shame because they were fun to do. I mean, the videos took just as long. Different size there, but that's fine. Just as long as other videos to do. But you really didn't get as much back from them. Which was a bit of a shame. I'm trying to sort of go for different sizes to make it interesting. Let's go out a little bit further. And do that. So, yeah... I probably won't be doing it again. Um, I'm going to come straight off of there. I'm going to go like that. This is all going to end up being a different height, but we can sort of work with that. I don't know if I want to come around here. Squeeze a little something in there. Hmm. <laughs> that really didn't work, did it? Uh, let me just sort of do that and then bring this over do a little thing like that there we go so you get a little teeny tiny curve under there which is good you have white tea you tend to only watch the city builder already know yeah which is a shame because as much as you would say you know after this video coming up is so and so go over there and watch them but then their video might not be out for a few weeks so it's just the whole momentum thing it's i don't know but then if you really like five builders one city oh darn it <laughs> Keep watching it because, you know, there's some fantastic builders out there that I love watching and learn from all the time. Uh, Olivia Murray Drive, you're going to go because we're going to try that again and get you hooked up here like so. Like that. A little bit not quite so slopey. What we could do is just drop all of this down. There we go. So we've still got access to that. We've still got some space in here. What's the terrain looking like over there? Love from the Philippines. Hello, Sydney. It doesn't need a road. I oh, know it doesn't need a road. I just want to put a road in there. We've got this little spot here, which I reckon we could sort of terraform a tiny bit. And just get another little something something in there. Like so. Let's do that. Not too big. How are we going to do this? Um, if I go like that. 
I mean, it's going to be teeny tiny houses. I'm not quite sure what houses I'm going to put in here. I mean, we could just literally go like that and have some houses either side. A cul-de-sac isn't really going to be a problem, is it? Down there. Yeah. Just to make... I'm thinking from a builder's point of view, trying to make the most use of the space that we've got down here. Thank you, Donna, for dropping by. Have a good day. What building shall we put in here? We could... I mean, we could zone something in, or we could go for... What is this called? Uh, let's put that on. The Robin District. So we could go for a new name on this. The Robin District. We could pick a style. So there's the styles that are sort of built in, but I haven't really added any more styles in here. Uh, district Style Edit. Yeah, I've only got these in this one. Experience with other YouTubers varies a lot, says Julian. I really enjoyed only two of the five builders, including you, of course. Enter between my kids. Yeah, everyone's different. That's the thing, you see. There's people that will watch me, but then there's people that wouldn't touch my stuff with a barge pole. They're like, oh, no, you're no good at the game. And I can totally understand they would enjoy someone entirely different from me. Uh, do you know what? I don't need that on there. What I wanted to do was just get rid of the traffic lights. And then we'll just let everybody go through... Everybody enjoys different stuff. Yeah, so, you know, that's just that's just the way it is. I was almost going to break into song then. I'm glad I didn't. Whoa, let's just get rid of all these winky wonky water pipes. So we haven't really sort of done what we said we were going to do, which was transit. But I'm actually quite happy to be doing something a bit different. Because why the heck not? Is that a teeny tiny water pipe? That is like the world's smallest water pipe. It's like a node. Where's the... I felt like I was on top of it a minute ago. Now it's gone. Oh, oh, it's just like... Oh, man, it's like a pixel right there. The turnip district. Why the turnip district? That is like a weird name. Yeah, this is where it's going to come in over here. Let's go back there. That's all okay. Why the turnip district? Can we think of... Think of a name that's maybe got some meaning. Think of Firefly release schedule. Out of order, not at the same time. Was it even on the same? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that is a very good analogy for things. Yeah, that's not quite perfect, but that's going to go there. Then we're going to go down here. Then it's going to come right to the end. And that might... If we go up there, that will cover all of that. If we come down here and along there, and we'll leave it back around. Everybody's covered. And the, I mean, this, we don't need it here. And I'm wondering whether the noise on that do you know what this is going to go because we'll leave the little path there we'll make this some sort of nice thing instead and we've got this power thing up here which is powering it that's going to go let's just check our power we destroyed the entire city no we're fine there we go is that traffic lights back in there again what did monkeys I remove those did I not remove those? And there. Or did I put them in? Was I being a muppet? Whoa, mama. Why are you suddenly overflowing? I really don't think you need to. I'll have a sip of tea while I consider my life choices. Turnip farms used to be there before industry and now houses. Turnip farms? I didn't remove them. Okay, thank you, Hugo. We flooded something. Biffa bingo. Da, 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 da. Let's have a quick look on here. Somebody's trying to get hold of me of anything important though. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> you stop watching it with another builder throwing some slight jabs about your content. Oh no, I'm sure they're only joking. Don't be. It's like that whole thing with me and Yumble. One loves roundabouts. One loves not roundabouts and it was like oh my goodness someone's got to be right and someone's got to be no we can both be right we can both be wrong nobody minds it's all a bit of fun i feel like this road over here if we went like that could sort of join up it would just seem a little bit weird not to have this join up even though it looks a bit weird that to me just feels like it should be like that or I'll just leave it alone or come over here. Right, so what houses are we going to go for in here? We could put a style together. We could pick a type of house. Uh, let's take that out. 
Let's put this on. Sarah Dave is 4 99 Really happy to see you live today. Love your video from North Carolina, USA. Thank you very much for your support, Sarah. That is fantastic. And Styrestian, member for 17 months. Blue Bridge District. Do you know what? That is quite a good name from the Robin District. Remember that. But thank you very much for your support for 17 months. That is very kind of you. So I put this on... Oh, look at these little houses. They're so cute. Grobel and Rico. <clears throat> and, 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 and... I would just scroll through here and see... Oh, look, they're all coming to sucky truck. Suck up the water. See what we can find. Oh, minutes In again with 50... Transylvanian Raider yogurts. Thank you very much. I do not think that solar power station connects to the rest of the city. Yeah, it might not be. Probably when we build all of this stuff, it will be. But thank you, Mehmet, for your support. And thank you for your comment, because you're right. This is where the rest of the city comes in. If we go from there to there. But we've got so much electricity. Look, that's probably going to jump up. Dante with the $10. This is amazing, fantastic. Watch him from New York. Do more live streams. Yeah, I'll try. I, I like. I do enjoy live streaming. We'll see what we can do. Um, right, so. What should we go for? What should we go for? Like the university housing ones. College park stuff. I like these sort of European ones, but they're so small. I'm thinking if it was in here, if this was real life, you know, all these buildings are gone. They'd be putting in some, like, high-res stuff in here. So let's change that to this. We've got a lot of UK things in here as well. So it might be... If I take out vanilla, go for something... So, like, these are, like, a UK-style building. I don't want to go for those. Um, Mehmet watches every City Skyline video uploaded. Sounds like Mehmet is a fan. It keeps flooded. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll, we'll sort that out. So is there anything here that jumps out that would be good? These are like humongous. Well, they're so small we can't even see them. Yeah, not, not like that. Oh, is that it? Is that all the high-res ones we've got? Oh, man. I thought we'd have more options. Let's have a look what we've got. Nothing under there. I mean, we've got the water. Oh, what about the water wall stuff? I mean, it's not really going to be a pedestrian area. I love these buildings here as well, though. These EK buildings always look cool. But I'm just wondering whether pedestrian stuff could be quite good. Please be nice and use some houses with soundproof windows. I oh, know they're right by the railway line, but people live right by the railway line and it, they just live with it. It's just the way it's just the, it's just the way things go. Level one. So if we like go for a mix of these and pop them in. And we could sort of use the Nope, that's not the random key. The random key. And just pick some of these larger ones and see what it looks like. Um, I think I've got all my stuff set up right that that's going to be a historical building. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. I like these buildings. I want to put some industrial buildings and reco them to high density. Yeah, I could do, but I'm going to do this instead. So <laughs> that is a good idea. I, I quite like that idea. I want this this way around. I was wondering whether we could like put some of these together. I'm going to, let's put some down and see what we end up with. And then we can sort of play around with it a bit afterwards. I'm going to put two of those in there. Whoa, jumpy game. We've got these small ones here. Yeah, this sort of size building seems about right in here, doesn't it? So these ones here. Let's pop one of those either side of this. I'm thinking smaller ones in the middle here, perhaps. This one, that way round, fits well. These are nice buildings as well. I like these. I like these a lot. Um, if we go like that and like that, that sort of covers that corner. And we could even go like that and like that. Where did your nickname come from? Maybe tell us a tale. Well, once upon a time, many years ago. This needs to be made bigger. Um, it was basically... Oh, yeah, a few candy with the advice on how to join blocks. Yeah, most definitely. 
you are an expert on that. I get I watch your videos and get lots of tips on doing that sort of thing. Uh yeah, Biffa was basically a like a sort of funny tongue in cheek derogatory nickname that some of our friends had. Uh, before I was married, that they'd call each other. There's the sucky trucks again. Pretty sure we just have an auto save there, so I can have a sip of tea. Oh, I'm wondering where the auto save is off. <gasps> I bet it is because of the thing at the beginning. I didn't want it to be interrupted. Let's put that back on again and do a very quick save before everything crashes and dies. And then when I was setting up my channel, I just picked that name. And basically, that's it. That is the story. I do love some fusing. F oh, look at that. That is a fantastic term. Did they think I was a bit of a biffer? Yeah, that's just what you call people. You're a bit of a biffer, aren't you? So I'm going to leave this along the back here. We're going to do some space for decorators. I'm sort of imagining this as like somewhere you'd live. And there was more to that sentence. So you, and you come out the side. You've got like a nice little path. We are going to need some parking in here for these. So we're going to sort of maybe have a little parking area. I don't know whether it's going to be right by where you live or not. We will see. He's a nightclub bouncer. Ha! <laughs> what a great name. He probably biffs people in real life, doesn't he, if they mess around. These little small ones could actually go along here. There's like these ones as well I like. I'm trying to sort of think of different ones in different places. They look good, but I don't want to sort of jam too much all together. Yeah, we're going to do something about this here, because this is, like, not working, is it? Let's lift this up. Hello again from New Zealand. George, welcome. Hope everything is going okay with you there. So let's just... A little touch. A teeny, teeny touch. Just here. And maybe that's the last time we're going to see the sucky trucks. Just like that. What do we reckon? Is that going to keep it all in? And this would be a great place to come and walk around, wouldn't it, as well? We're going to put the paths in for that and see how we go. Hello from Bulgaria. Hello, Guggen. Obi-Wan, teeny. Teeny and tiny. And we've got these small ones. Let's have that one there. I think that's possibly a similar one to that one. And I want a larger one. Let's turn off Anarchy. I think that's going to overlap there. We go like that. We might be able to, yeah, put some trees and things on the side. I'm thinking this might be parking here. Yeah, probably going to end up with a bit more parking than I think. Have we got? Let's have a look. Thank you, Larry. How you doing? Spotted a pumping service truck. So now it's going well. Yeah, definitely. I have heard of the Biffa Bin Company in the UK. Yeah, it wasn't based on that. <laughs> oh, where are you going, are you? I've missed your message. But thank you for coming along if, you, if you're off. Uh, gameplay, more realistic parking. Yeah, we've got that. So they're going to need some sort of parking around here. So I'm going to leave some of this space free. Um, I don't want these small ones. We're getting a lot of these. It's because they're all level one, aren't they? That we're getting a lot of buildings that are looking very similar. I think in parking there is what well. I mean. You know, we're not filling it with too much, are we? Bear with me one second. Damn, and you're supposed to be working, are you? Well, I'll get back to work. Parking. Boink. All right, let's have a look what we've got in here. Get a bit of parking in. We want to move things around. We'll see how it goes. I like the 2x3 parking, but we've also got... 8 by that is far too big. Isn't there like a one in between? Yeah, 3 by 3. So like something like that would be quite good in between. So you'd park there, go into your houses. That would work well. Uh, what are these ones called? Parking lots. Let's put that in. You can find them a bit easier. Need to start complaining for collaboration with Few Candy. Building a fused building complex in New Zealand. Oh man, I, I can't imagine trying to give my city to someone else and to get to get it to work that would just be like three by three i want a two by four i don't think there is a two by four because of the amount of mods and things like that that i've got oh i need to turn the heating up cold uh heat there we go 
yeah I, I don't know i mean that'd be something like that i'd like to do more stuff with other people i really would we could probably do something there do you know what we could do there uh yeah i'm gonna destroy that so we could try some of this park in here no here yes how about one of these Park it on both sides. We're going to go for this one. It's brand new estate. If that went through there like that. But parking under the railway. Well. I mean, I didn't. What I didn't. I wanted parking near the house. So people can get their shopping and walk in. So whereas you might think this is noisy, put it here. If I lived here. You know, if I lived here, I drove in here. I then came round here under the bridge. Round the corner parked over here but then had to walk with my shopping all the way over here somewhere i wouldn't be very happy whereas parking just outside like that you've still got space for some trees and and whatnot i think that would uh work a lot better i'm gonna pop that in there and just see what that looks like oh that just fits in absolutely perfectly let's go for that and then we'll see if we can have a look here so that's sort of like an outside wall so we could put that and another one in there oh that just is almost too perfect is that like a little piece of deck isn't it there and um, what is it control x isn't it uh, so we could do that and then one extra there try the new remaster but so confusing uh, after playing on pc i've never managed to play that much on the console i have literally tried it on the switch Oh, jumpy game. And just gave up. I just... I'm not a console gamer apart from FIFA. And what else do I play on the console? Forza as well, which I like. And uh, what am I doing? I want these here. So I want that. I feel like I can go all the way along here. It seems like a bit more spacious for some reason. Let's do that. Do you know what? I feel like we need to fill that gap in there now. Now I've made some space on this one. Control X. Oh man, line it up. Come on, in the middle. Yeah. You have a very thin car to park there. I think that looks good. Come in there, park. A little bit of parking here. Some stuff around the back. I feel like another little car park in here. When you accidentally pause a live stream. A++ for Nagelin. Thank you. Mm. finagling like a pro I think I, I hope I don't know I'm going to do the same over here because this can like move right over so if we grab that one again I'm pretty sure that will fit in there let's square that off Bonk. that did not look like it look at that the line is straight the thing is not what the heck is going on there Yep, all right, well, we're just going to ignore that. Because that's just weird, isn't it? Um, this could be finagled. Oh, man, just like a... A millimetre. Dante gifted one Biffa Plays Indie Games membership to Opal. Thank you very much. That is very kind. Um, I feel like there's somebody at my front door. It's all going now. Who's at my front door? That's oh, my wife. Fancy that. Lucas, welcome to Tea Town Designer. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you for your support. Where were we? We were over here, weren't we? You peeps are very, very kind. So we're going to go here. And we're going to sort of go like that. That's going to overlap. And then we're going to go locked. Oh, yeah, it actually says it on the screen. I never noticed that before. You change the colour of your parking lots. Yeah, I sort of sometimes think, like, with the parking lots like this, is the roads would have been built by the, the council or whoever. And then the builders would have come along. I'm just going to do this one manually. And they would build like this in the middle. So that would be whatever they had available to build it. So the fact that it looks different actually fits in to the story with me. Greetings from... Iguazu Falls. Lucas, greetings to you. 
The main street already has parking. Yep, that's good. Well, now it's got parking there and parking down here. Well, you think how many people would live in here? Do you know what? I'm not going to count it up because it's probably going to be less than I think. So we've got parking that side. We've got parking this side. I'm going to take this parking out because we're going to say that parking is for everybody here. This parking is for everybody there. We're going to have one more park parking here and that's going to cover the rest. And that'll be it. Greetings from Cologne. Maox, greetings to you. Uh, four by four? No, three by three. I can see the, the shape, and I miscounted. Dante, $10, thank you. You cannot begin to fathom how badly I would love these mods on the console. We recently got parking lots. We have to try really hard to make them. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your support. Where in New Zealand are we? We're here in the Robin District. There we go. That's where we are. Over here. And we remove the load of industry that we didn't need. And we've put these nice little houses in there. And we're going ham on the decoration. People using it already. That's nice. Let's start with this one here. So that one, that's nice. That's fitted in there nicely. Although this here doesn't seem like... Why do that? Yeah, that seems more like it to me. Maybe coming around the side. Park. But you've got that free there. We'll, we'll go with that and just sort of live with it parking lots on pc i think you're probably either thinking of these which came with the mid-century modern pack which have got this sort of cover which i quite like or you're thinking of the ones that you can get from somebody will say in a minute I've got 32 gigs of RAM. The ones where you can sort of get the... Oh, my goodness me. What is it? It's the special zone type for the commercial. This one here. Organic and local produce. One of the... There's like a couple of... I think it's 4x4 four four and 3x5 three or something. You zone it. And then you'd have to like whack-a-mole until you get them. Um, okay. I just got a message I need to just have a look at. So talk amongst yourself. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what was I doing? So I was down here, momentarily distracted, looking for a fence. So I'm just thinking we do need a, like, a little fence along here or some sort of demarcation. But how about, instead of a fence, we use some sort of planter? Do Oh, I don't have my planters that I wanted in here. Do you know, having different mods for different cities is a bit of a pain in the proverbial sometimes if i take that is this one of those ones that oh it is you can get that like that i can ever so slightly do this is it not gonna let me move give a little bit of space there my mod my mod list is huge it is huge there's a bit of a z fighting in the middle but we'll we'll go with it uh, what am I looking for? I'm going in here. We're going over here. So we're going to put in some bushes and some some trees of some sort. Just sort of demarcate one from the other. Got work to do. Isaiah Wells, thank you very much for stopping by. Lovely to see you. So we now need to put this on. Boink. I'm going to go down here. <laughs> that is not is not what I wanted. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to do that as like a bit of a thing. Zed fighting. That's what it's called, isn't it? When the two things overlap like that. It's called Zed fighting, isn't it? And we've got, what's this? Maybe slightly something a little slightly different. So that's the second space along there and there. And then I feel like this one is going to come out and that is going to be like a, no. That is going to be like, no, um, some sort of tree, just a small tree. No, um, but one that isn't necessarily going to drop its leaves everywhere. What, what map is this? Stop asking the same question. I can't remember the name of the map. Young Linden. Ooh. But now the Young Linden, that is the Young Linden, isn't it? Is now overshadowed by those bushes to the side. So I think we're going to remove that and that and that. And that, and we're gonna go young linden bush, young linden bush. Oh, look at that. 
And then, thank you, Jane. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I think that was a little bit smaller. Do we have some teeny tiny small bunches of flowers? That's it. Seahorse Islands Archipelago. Thank you very much, Larry. Larry coming in with the better memory than I've got. Hmm. Another one out of two. What the heck am I going to do now? Um, so we've got these here. Cough button. Which I'm going to rename to sniff button. Because it was a bit of a sniff rather than a cough. Clusters, bushes, that's too big. What about these? Oh, these are nice. You just go like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. One out of tea. It's a disaster. I don't know who you would call about that. Just something like that. Maniac Mainer with $10. Thank you for all you do. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you for all you do. What are my actual plans for this video today, says Don Rebel. Obviously not pleased with the, the turn this video has taken. Well, this is a live stream. So the plans are we do things live and enjoy ourselves. That is the plan. So this is going to be the thing that the builders of this little plot said, if we have to do any car park protection stuff, we're going to do that. And we haven't got any other little car parks like that, have we? Because we've got these ones down here. So would that fit in there? It's going to sort of block off this building, but bear with me. Bear with me, because that's the front of the building there. That could go in here as well. Good, nice. Oh, I'd want it in there, but it's too big. But I tell you why, because what I'm thinking of, if we come back over here, is the people that live in here, they go in their front door. They don't want people just wandering through here. Although, let's be honest, <laughs> you're a bit disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, and Martha. Um. I don't know what you're disappointed with. But yeah, if you lived in here, you'd go in here. But then out the back, you'd have access to this area. Is that traffic lights again? Oh, it's because of the car park, isn't it? It's like these flipping traffic lights. I bet there's some over here as well now. No. They're popping up everywhere. Uh, Dante, another $10. Thank you very much. I've got so better at creating cities thanks to you. Your attention to detail had rubbed off on me up to the point where my girlfriend said my cities don't look ugly like New York anymore. And I'm glad I can help. I'm learning from others as well. So I'll pass it on to you. Why don't I make Twitch streams anymore? I've got a bigger audience on YouTube, so I'll just do it over here. So then I feel like, let's just concentrate on this one. We'd close this off a little bit here. And make this sort of access only for them. But I do feel like we can have a path through here. So let's go for that. And I do like these ones. These to me just add a little bit of... Please don't do that again. Take it. Turn off that. These just add a little bit of something, something through there. Like that. I always have to move these up. Because they just... And you're going to be able to get past that tree. You'll be able to get past that tree. We may change the trees. The trees on world. You need to bob in another tree type for these houses. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We're going to have a look at all the trees that are already here because we are sort of sort of half palm trees, you know, lovely lovely islands type vibe, but I tend to also use the the British brush that we've got for, for everything at the moment. So we'll, we'll see what happens, but anyway. So yeah, something like that, and then I'd feel like we need like some sort of demarcation whether we go with the young lindens as that sort of demarcation discord having a strong why what's what's wrong with the discord by the way i've got a discord if you like that sort of thing discording with people then uh, head on over there oh look that looks actually quite nice i like that and then what we can do is copy that and go like this. Oh, it ain't going to work, is it? What I'll do, I'm going to do that. Delete that. Do that. Copy that. Now it works. Until we get over here, and then it's just too big to fit in. Let's have to delete the tree on ward. There we go. And move this one over a touch. Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll do this. Make it smaller. 
think. And then we can come around the corner and go like that, like that, and like that. And that just sort of fits in, doesn't it? Oh, that's nice. I like that. That looks good. Have I found the UFO in the volcano? What? Uh, nope. We did build some stuff up here, but if this is where you mean, don't know. Yumble's the intersection of great from Yumble. They are. Yeah, I'm lost. Yumble knows what he's talking about, which is great because I enjoy watching these videos because I learn stuff. Discord. Join Biffa. Thank you, Mr. Needs. For those that wish to join the Discord, there we go. All the information you need. And then this out the back here, I would sort of have a couple of larger trees. I'll get my big trees and put them over here with the other trees. With a bit of maybe grass sort of under the tree. And what have we got there? No. Yeah, there we go. Look. Like a palm tree. Go for a slightly different one there. What do we reckon to something like that? And then down here, I feel like... I don't want another tree like that. Let's go for this one again. What do you think? What do you people think? To that. For this area here. So it's a nice little bit of area around the back. Sort of protected. Very pretty. Looks good. You like it? Thank you very much. So then, we can sort of go with a similar theme for other places as well. So if we just come out of that view there, and then if we grab just those two, we can go like this. Oh, and hang on, let's put some paths through. We want paths, don't we? So people can actually get in and out of where they're living. You're surprised I don't use tea tree plants. Well, let's go all the way through with that one. That's good. Got more messages. Who's that from? No, nope, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we'll sort of block this bit off the back here. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to take all of these. Zoink, like so. So you've got the path to get through, but this is like just the bit where they live. Whoa, jumpy game. Indeed. Like so. Let's just maybe move some of these over a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to grab some of those. Nope, we'll try that again. Boink. We'll grab some of those. There we go. Which way around am I going to go for those? This way. Nope. I clicked and nothing happened. Stop. Turn in. Click. Click. And click. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Don't need anything else in there. And then we can grab this over here. And we're going to have a couple of these. We're going to have one of those there. Uh, what's that one? That one's like that one. So we're going to grab this one this time. And we'll have that one down here. What causes that jitter for the jump? I have absolutely no idea. You you have got no clue how many times I've tried to go through and sort out the jumpy game thing. It has just plagued me for flipping years. And I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Oh, I feel like a little park in here would be good. Yeah, we're going to take these three houses out here. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, we're going to have a little park for the people that live here to come and do their park stuff in. And then we could go... What is that? That's a very big, large play park. We've got, like, the dog. I'm thinking of something. Park with trees. Oh, my goodness me, that's huge. What else have we got? Any other options here? Hi, everybody. Welcome, Matt. Ping pong tables. Don't think I've got any of those. We could put in a chicken farm. Not sure they're going to like that. These are all pretty big. Don't want that. The sci-fi... Uh, park. Pagoda. I'm thinking of something where the, just the kids can come and run and play, to be honest. So if we could fit in one of these small little parks up here. What other options have we got? They're more plaza-like things, aren't they? 
if we could fit some sort of tennis court in there, that could be good. So I think it's just going to be whichever one of these fits in. I think it's going to be this one. What's that jumping? Oh, it's like trying to attach to the car park, isn't it? Let's have that there, which means I'm going to remove the trees, because otherwise bloop, they're going to end up stuck underneath. And then we'll level the land, the land out a bit. I just ruined your efficiency at work. I'm sorry, Luito, if that's how you pronounce it. I apologise. Please do your work. That is like a real uphill park going on there. We'll bob out some of those trees as well and get this all looking like it all belongs. Like that. And then the other side, we could do a teeny tiny little entertainment type complex here of a couple of things, which could work. Don't put a dog park. No, I, yeah, I, it was like, I'm going to try and not put a dog park. Tennis court under here would work okay, wouldn't it? If you're playing tennis, you don't care whether the trains are coming past. I don't think we're going to fit a basketball court in as well. That is pretty big. Although we could have the basketball court. I think we're having it coming out of that car park and going another way. Let's go for one new one of these. Thunderstorms there this morning. Tennis balls hit the train. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? Although, that could be part of the game. The camera registers the height based off the ground. The jumps because of uneven terrain. Nah, it's not that, I'm afraid. It's. I've like, looked into everything. I've looked into how my CPU jumps and, you know, all the things that you sort of, technical-wise, that it could be. And it's just, I just can't get to the bottom of it. I've just given up. I've given up trying, I'll be honest. What is this one here? Basketball court. Yeah, I think this here could work quite well we'll move if i that a little bit closer and then we're gonna add what could we add there oh man i just so want to put a dog park <laughs> that'd probably fit in there oh it's like too big it's too big oh i know if i've got any bicycle parking things these Kiddies playground need a fence to stop the kiddies falling in the lake. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. That is that is a good call. I'm going to go for a little bit of bike parking with some detailing around it. We're using this one here, aren't we? That's, what is this I'm picking? A park. Why is it? There we go. That's what I want. Like that. Like that. Come on. There you go. Like that like a minimum distance it can go and like that there we go excellent we'll get that the same height as that and then we'll just do a bit of maneuvering around here get all this in the middle that seems to me like it's a, a long way out let's grab all of this get that over here Oh, got to remember to keep talking. It's like when I'm recording, if ever I'm doing something like this, I'll stop talking because I know it's going to be made into a time lapse. But I'm live, so it means I've got to keep talking. Otherwise, everybody's like, what the heck's going on? Biffa's mouth has fallen off. What? I don't have my brushes in this collection as well. No, man, alive. Okay, while we're talking, I'm going to add those in to my um, XML. Brush, 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 brush. Include all. Using the load order tool because it is so fantastic like that. What one are we using? New Zealand number 22. So we're going to make that. So it's 22C. I've added assets. So it'll be 22D. And we'll save that. If you want my mod list and such. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all on the Discord. So you can go and... Uh, Grab it for yourself. We're going to bring that back. <laughs> the rocks are like growing out of the ground. And then we can use a little bit of this. How do you add things without leaving the game? Now, what I've done is I've added it to the XML. I've already got them installed. Um, but they're just not included in the XML for this city. For this build. Um, so I've just clicked the include button to include them. That'll have to do for now. Something like that. Yeah, we won't go too mental on that. That's okay, isn't it? 
Just a little something like that. So I've ticked the button, save the XML, because that is a that's a Windows program. That's nothing to do with um, the game. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, actually, yeah. Should we go for... What is this one? Coconut tree. What's the other one? California palm. Silly question, right? So date palm. Is that nothing to do with coconuts? This one's called a coconut tree. Oh, I've got coconuts in it. California palm. Not having coconuts. Is there a difference? Because like, I'll place this one here. And people say, oh, coconuts falling on people's heads. Use one of the other ones. I just don't know. Thank you, Tobias. Hope your work goes okay. Rob Holland. $10. Thank you very much. Thank you for your amazing build. I love New Zealand. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Dar4 says, an episode where young Lyndon is banned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Um, and then... We could bob out these ones in here and put the coconuts in and they can fall on the court. <laughs> palms don't have coconuts. Dates from date trees and palms. Okay. Not every tree has a pineapple. Okay, fair enough. Only the coconut tree grows coconut. Yeah, I'm learning something. Thank you for your uh, information. So a little bit of something there. Just a bit of something there. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit more detail. Do, 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 do. I was going to plop a path in here. Road guidelines off. Just like that. Just to sort of go around this. Just to sort of give it a reason for living. There we go. And then we're going to go for some lindens around this one. Just to be different. Like this. Extra landscaping is fixed. Yes, that's right. It is. There we go. I feel like this space could have something in. What could we put in there? Something nicey nice. And thank you all for joining us today. If you're new to my channel, uh, a cheeky subscribe would be uh, would be lovely. Carousel Park. That's far too big, far too big. What is like a really small... What is that? That could be like a 2x2. Two two. Can I do something here? Change that to size? Is there a way of doing that? Custom terraforming. I thought there was... Sub-buildings... I thought there was a way of having a size in here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining that. It's just a building level thing. It's not City Skylines without Lindens, that's right. A cheeky subscribe indeed. You'll be able to chat if you sub. That is true, yes. Chat is for subscribers only. Just because. Because why not? And then we could have something over there as well. But this middle section here... I think it's looking rather nice. Oh, we've got that place down here, haven't we? Why was that there? Oh, I know. We were going to do something down here, weren't we? I want to grab that. Did we grab the right thing? Let's find out. Yes. I'm going to put that in just once. What's the mod for building themes? The mod now, instead of building themes, is District Styles mod. This one. District Styles Editor. So that works. Gazebo. That is a fantastic idea. We'll go for that in a minute. So we're going to go one, tree, one, and then one. Like that. Then we'll grab that. And this is for the same reason. Blocks off the front, but they will get out the back here for their area. I am just going to... I don't think we need this one here. We're going to delete all of this. Zonky, zonk, zonk, zonk. That's fine. And then a little bit of... bit of something along the back here. I don't feel like... Do I, Do we need a path? Let's pop a path in. Oh, it's really cold again. I've like... Turned my heating on because I was getting cold. And then it was far too hot. So I've turned it off. And that's far too cold. I feel like... <laughs> I want to just try and get this just right. I'm going to put the heat on and just deal with it. Because I'm freezing. 2,500 species of palm trees, says SK99. That is... A lot of palm trees. Yeah, I'm just going to go like that. And then what we're going to do is grab one of those. Nope. Move it mod's gone. Nope. Move it mod's gone again. That's because I haven't got this on. Zoink that thing. And I'm going to pop that in the middle there. Yeah, we don't need that path. That just seems like a silly place for a path. 
Oh, auto save. Quick sip of. Oh, oh I'm running out of tea. There we go. Where's the traffic fixing? Yeah, I know. I've even called it transit and traffic fixing. We start. We started off. I'm gonna have to rename the episode. We started off. We were gonna do that. Oh, Lindens it is. And then we ended up. There we go. That's fine. Some Lindens. Start. Ended up doing something else. Um. So this over here is going to be a playing area, but we've got the Kidly Winkies over here. We will do some transit stuff in a minute. Do you think a nature reserve fence is enough of a warning to the kids to not go over there? I think it might have to be. But we've got like this little sort of beach area. So this isn't really a lake. Well, it is a lake, obviously. But this is like a nice smoothed out beach bit. So I think if you were here with the Kidly Winkies, you'd be able to... Just watch them and be careful and say, you know, don't. That's better. But it's not that deep. They could, like, do a bit of swimming here and you'd be okay. Or a bit of paddling, I mean. Let's just smooth it out this way a bit. How long left you on for in this first hour? Sorry, I read that like you'd written it weird, but you hadn't. It was just me reading it weird. Um, I don't know. What's the time? Half past two. So another another half an hour would be two hours, which is what I was initially intending to do. So probably about that, because then my kidly winkies will be coming home. Yeah, I think we're going to leave this area. Just sort of leave it all open. I don't know if it even needs a fence, to be honest. I might just sort of put a fence along here. Like that. Just to add a bit of detail. And we might just sort of do a fence up to there. And a fence up to there. And then at least if we had a fence, let's have a look. Under here and up to there. That it sort of encloses this in. So any any kiddly winkies coming up it aren't gonna run off. You know that they're in the in the park. Let's just follow this around. And we're gonna go up to there. For no reason at all. There we go. That's good. Now we can pop a couple of. No, wrong button. Nothing superior. A couple of British sort of trees over there. A couple there. And then leave this down here. There we go. I think that's all right. And then we've got this bit here. Again, I might just pop in. Oh, look at that. That's fine. A nice big tree. And go with that. I'm thinking that's. That's looking okay. I feel like this... We, we're going to find something to go in here, weren't we? But we never did. How about we just pop in like a big tree of some sort? Like that. Nope. Not that many. How big is this tree? Yeah. We're going to go with that. And then we're going to go with that. No. Too much. There we go. So that's got a reason for being there. And then this over here... We could just go for a few small trees around the back, but not up the mountain like that. And I reckon, I reckon that little area there will do for now. We've got some space over here to do some more industrial stuff. Gazebo, 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 gazebo. That was it. I knew it was something. Got to get the gazebo in there. Uh, let's go in here. Thank you for the reminder, Christopher. Yeah, we don't spell it like that. We don't spell it like that either, apparently. Okay, I know it's in the park. Bom, 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 gazebo. Nope. Am I be yeah, there it is. I'm being blind. That one, or this one? This one. Oh, look at that. That is just perfect. Come here, have a little rest. Park your bike. Watch the kids playing over here. Things are going well. Hello from Scotland. Underbashed. Good afternoon. All it needs is a convenience store. Yeah, where would be the nearest shopping for these people? It would be a long way away. I've got to be honest. In this day and age... Oh, not the mic. I don't think people would put a convenience store here. You would expect, if you lived here, you were going to be driving. There's shops over here. Bigger shops over there, I think. Look at it. I told you, didn't I? Right at the beginning. We'll get rid of that industry. Not enough goods. That's what's going to happen. Darn it. Yeah, I don't think they would put a convenience store over here. Light bulb, Sam. Thank you very much for the five pounds. English pounds. 
This is great to listen to as I do work as a town planner. Hashtag remote working. Yeah, so please don't tell me about all the things that I've said that are wrong. You being a town planner and actually know what you're talking about and me just talking about stuff that I've learned playing the game and heard other people say. <laughs> it's like, although I have to say, <clears throat> excuse me, I do actually have over here, I'm leaning back, the town and country planning in the UK book, 15th edition. Have you got this one? Tiny shop next to the train. I mean, it's only like 602 pages. And I have used it for a few videos. It is a fantastic book. Not an easy read, I have to say. I've also got Urban Planning for Dummies. And Confessions of a Recovering Engineer. The tiny town guy who done a couple of books like that. It's not a lake, it's a bit off the river. It is, yeah, it comes from up there. It's not a lake. So there we go. Circle K or... All right. Let's put... How about a couple of little shops along here? Come on then, let's do it. Let's do a couple of little shops. I know what could be good, which might work. Although this is like a new sort of area, isn't it? So no, maybe not. Hang on a sec. Near the power plant. I reckon underneath the railway line here. I've got to keep checking my messages. People keep blimming, sending me messages. And there's stuff going on. Just want to make sure it's not urgent. Nope. Uh, it's a mod for sorting the rows into different tabs. If I could remember what it was, I'd tell you. Shop, shop, shop. So we turn that off. How about we go for some eco commercial shops? Because what have we got? If we go for eco wall to wall, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to be too big. If we go for these, we could have like a couple of really small ones. Better roads toolbar. Thank you very much. So just like a little couple of small shops. I'm just thinking, if we run a road off of here, like this, then we can sort of put it either side of that road rather than right here opposite somebody's house. Build a museum of town planning. That, that would be good. 15 minute cities, 20 minute neighbourhoods, we create them. I follow a load of people like that on, on YouTube. I really do. Oh, this is cool. I like that. It's like a little, what would you call that? Cabana? Something like that. Hi, Yash. There we go. We've got the healthy weeds in there. That has like dug away at the mountain. So let's maybe move that over there. So come and get your fruit and veg from that shop. What's this one? And then maybe just a little something like that and then a small one next to it that was not a small one what's this one that's like an outside eating an outside eatery why not oh man and you could like stare into the abyss of your soul <laughs> that's the end of this road causing a problem let's get rid of that still causing a problem how far away does it have to be to not cause a problem is it this I'm de daring touch all of this. That'll do. A couple of nice little things like that. And then we can detail around here with another bit of path. Other dimension portals. Yeah, they pop up from time to time. When things will get a little bit too close. No, I want that on. Ward guidelines off. We're going to go like that. And like that. And then we're going to have that the same height as that. And then we're going to have that coming out a little bit further. I cause another dimension to another portal to another dimension. How do I keep my Rico demand high? By totally ignoring it and not actually. <laughs> we have a couple of these out here. I don't care whether coconuts are going to be falling off them. Or dates. We're going to do that anyway. There we go. Okay. Got some shops to help these little people here. I feel like this little spot here needs something. Elevated piece. Yeah, I don't want to mess with this because this is like this is like a work of art to get all of this to work properly because it's one way going in each direction. And it's just a bit of a... The upside down. Trees. Dog park. We could put dog park and trees and then just like not talk about it anymore. Thank you, Klaus. You're ready to move in. 
That is praise indeed. We are going to put a dog park. People can bring their dogs over here. And then we get some trees around it. Let's turn that off. Trees to block the sound of the industry that's over there. Although, like we said, that area might get built in at some point. Oh, I'm liking this. Colour the bridge biffer red. Um, no. The, the Sorry, it was a cough button there. The bridge just comes looking like that. So, a bus stop and the transit thing is done. Yay! <laughs> School! Oh, yeah. I would reckon here we'd at least have an elementary school. Let's see what we've got from our list of elementary schools. Some of these are quite large and some of them are quite small because we've got high capacity elementary school. I do like this little community school, but it's quite a big building. Well, let's see what the smallest one is that we can get away with. That one's quite small. Let's see if we can squeeze it in somewhere. Although, I mean, there's not that many people live in here that one seems quite good doesn't it it's quite flat and low down and we could maybe utilize somewhere for that we've like got no space now unless we've got rid of those houses there and put it on the end yeah we're gonna we're gonna get rid of these yep 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 uh, yep and yep and yep we're going to pop that in that little space there. That's weird. It's like got all these trees you can't even see in the windows. But I like that. Is that trees in the way or is that trees in the building? It's trees as part of the building. Okay, fair enough. I would definitely want some parking around here. They do have a convenience store. What are you complaining about? I just built a convenience store. Uh, planter, parking lots, do 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 do, eight by four, three by two. We'll have that out the front, and that would be absolutely plenty. Oh, it's that weird thing with the land again, isn't it? Where there's like Bob the building. Yeah, mm, we could. If I try and flatten this, it's not going to let me do it. If I do that and that and do Control H that, it doesn't let me do it. It's like there's something under the ground. Oh, it's done it. Okay, well we'll go with that then. I thought there was something under the ground that wasn't letting me do it, but it is. Uh, we're going to go for the Lindens. Do you know what? We're not going to go for the Lindens. We're going to go for those. And we'll just do some down here. Let's do three. There we go. Excellent. Good. So let's have a look in here. Galloway Road Public School. So we have to rename this. So Robin District is all of this. What name... Bernadette from Canada finally caught up with the chats. Excellent, thank you. Building, city building with almost 1,600 backseat drivers seems fun. Do you know what? It is a thing. It is definitely a thing. So what name are we going to call this repurposed district? The Blue Bridge District. I quite like that one. I also like Turnip District. So let's... Those two. Blue Bridge or Turnip. I can actually do a vote, can't I? Brew bridge. Brew. <laughs> brew bridge. Uh, can I not do a vote? I can. Can I not do a poll? Engage with your audience. Start a Q&A. Start a poll. What name? I can't even spell. Don't bother writing it in the thing. I'm going to do a poll. Blue bridge district or turnip <laughs> turnip turnip district there we go ask the community i'm going to ask you to vote a thing will probably pop up somewhere there you go vote and see what you reckon ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba. if i do that and do that there you go so you have to vote by pressing the button up the top. Brew bridge. Brew. Okay, well, let's go for these first. And then we'll do a second vote on how to slightly adjust the name of it if we're going to do that. So we'll see. It looks like it's going to be Blue Bridge anyway. There's a lot of people going for that. 400 votes. 
And don't forget, if you're new, leave a like on the live stream and subscribe so you don't miss out. I do lots of City Skylines videos. I love this road. Lots of little detail, a bit of parking. Not too busy down here, which is good. Although the speed on this one is 50 mile an hour which seems to me a little bit quick, but we just want to ignore that and not worry about it. Here comes one of the beautiful trains. Let's come over here and get the view of that as it comes along. There it goes. Nice. One other thing I wanted to do is... Okay, it's going to be Blue Bridge. So I'm going to end the pole. It's so far ahead. So now, second pole... Start a poll. Which one? Is it going to be Blue Bridge or Brew Bridge? And that's that's funny for numerous reasons. One, because sometimes I have trouble with me R's and me L's. So it'll come out as a... No, me L's and me whatever it is. And it'll come out as an R. So Blue Bridge and Brew Bridge might be something I would say. And also Brew Bridge because of the T. So there we go. Pick one. And also, while you're doing that, I'll leave that running. Um, I want to get a bus in here, at least. Round to the shop. Why are you complaining there's nobody to work here? There's like all these people here. How many people live in... Oh, here we go. Look, this bus here. So this bus... Let's just pause that. Oh, that is not a bus. Where does it go? It goes around this district here. Turns around there. Then it goes down here. This is a long old bus. Comes into here. And goes up to our little mini. We've got this little mini sort of bus thing I've made over here. That's got like a few stops in there. It did have. I think it's only got one stop now. So if we just drag that in. And I'm just going to drag it in. Um, to there. As always it will be a weird turnaround. But. It just means that if these people want to get access to a bus, I don't want to put it right in the middle, that they can there, which will be good. What have we got? Let's have a look. Can you fit in another road from the district in case of emergency? Um, it's got this one here. I think that's okay. I know, um, I mean, City Planner Plays talks about it a lot, and I know some others do about not making cul-de-sacs and, and all of that, perhaps in real life. Uh, to be honest, in real life, you get cul-de-sacs. <laughs> you get a lot of cul-de-sacs. It's just the way it goes sometimes. So, the Blue Brew Bridge. Oh, my goodness me. That I just, like, do my nut trying to say that all the time. Which mod do I use to make the tree line? That is prop. No, wrong one. Whatever the new prop tree line mod thing is it's called tree anarchy so you can go and do that okay entire community yeah i'll be fine it'll be fine i mean i could have another road up here but we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it so the district covers all of this here i just wanted to see how many people are in here 590 people in here how many people do they need work in here six Eight, ten, sixteen people. So there's five hundred people here, and you can't find whatever I just said amount to go in there. Sixteen or eighteen or something. I mean, that's not really my fault, is it? If you can't. So let's have a look at the poll. End poll is Brewbridge. There we go. Thank you very much for your votes. So Brewbridge. No, there's a W in there. The Brewbridge district. And I quite like that. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. Let's just do this. Around there. I'm just going to separate that from the winky wonky. And up there as well. Oh, and it wasn't quite taking it all in. Was it over here? Yes, it is. There we go. So now it's the Brew Bridge District, which means this is going to be the Brew Bridge Public School. So we've got that. And then we got, this is Brewbridge Park. We could actually make that into a park. What is the land value? Bit of land value there, not so much over here. We're fine. We're, we're doing okay. These will possibly level up. Look at that. Already level four, level four, almost level. What, what are they probably saying? Land value. Hmm. 
is there a little tiny summit I could add in here which is going to really increase the land value of this area? Just looking for space. I mean, probably not. Let's just use the move it mod. I'm going to move that over there. And I'm going to add in here something from the park. Double-decker trams in your build. Oh, double-decker trams. Good grief. That would be good, wouldn't it? Park restrooms. We're just going to add that here next to the dog park. And nobody batted than I did. I thought they'd be pleased at having that. And then over here, we're going to add in a restaurant sort of thing. Statue, bouncy play area. I don't want to be a bit too big. Park info booth. I'm looking for the restaurant. Park cafe. I knew I left a gap there. There we go. For a reason. We could do that. Don't know whether that's going to stretch over here as much and make much of a difference, but we'll maybe just go with that and see how it goes. Oh, man, I'm so hot. I'll turn the heat down. Yeah, I like that. We'll, we'll go with that. I think that's okay. Did industries get fixed where the remastered version is free to upgrade the previously purchased? We're going to have to buy them. No. There's, from what I can gather, that bus line is terrifying. Oh, be quiet. From what I can gather, um, with the new remastered, it's supposed to be all the DLCs up to, I think, airports and plazas. Just like a couple of three of the newer ones and financial districts. All the ones before are supposed to be done, but they're not done. So they will be done, as in they will be available to you. I think they've all been done in the background. You know, there's remasters versions of them around. Um, but for some reason, they're not showing up on the relevant stores and whatnot. So when that gets sorted... I don't know where that looks like. It would be like that. Yeah, that's fine. When that gets sorted, you'll be able to get it. So there we go. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Just dropping by to say hi. Does it matter? Thank you very much for dropping by and saying hi. Well, why don't we just have a look at our buses up here? While we're talking about supposedly doing transit and traffic fixing, the traffic is like 84%. So, you know, no one's complaining about that. Um, but our buses we've got over here. So what I'm going to do is just turn off. Effing it out just for now. Just so I can see what's going on. They're going to be in the sea anyway, so that's fine. So if we have a look over here, we've got this bus route. So, right, okay, here's a perfect example. I've got this bus route. It isn't mirrored in both directions. Why is my heating so hot? I've, like, turned this down, and it's, like, boiling me alive. I need some more drink. Is that a yes, a double-decker trams? If I can find one, Cliff, why not? I'm okay, thanks, Vaslu. So we've got... I'll, I'll let you decide. Let me tell you what I'm thinking here. Look, we've got this train station here, the elevated bypass train station with train lines all along here. And I've got this little thing here so we can put some bus stops uh, on a couple of these and then they come out. At the minute, we've only got this one. So should I... Let's come out of that view and do that. There we go. And we've got a university down here, so there's nothing coming down to the university. But this this pink one for this area starts here, goes all the way around that roundabout, comes up, goes all the way around this area. It hits the cable cars here, so people can get on that and go over the top of this little hill at the end, which is good. And now it also comes up and goes into that area. So, do you think we should have two or three lines so one line that runs around or runs to the university and back and then one that runs from here to this area and back and then one that runs over here and back do you think we should literally just do that and then i would like one to go into the industry area up here for jobs i don't know what do you think Do I dip bickies in my brew? I do. The new small bus station could work perfectly there. Ooh, while you're thinking about that, one line with bigger buses or two with smaller? Three lines, at least two more. So instead of the loops, to change them, change them out. Three sounds good. Uh, bus. Oh, let's turn that off. Where is it? It's a teeny tiny small one, isn't it? I know the one you mean, this one. Compact bus station. Didn't I click it? 
Oh, look at that. Let's just pause the game. Oh, man, what a call. What a call. Cliff. Yep, yeah, I saw that message. Please don't keep posting the same thing 50,000 times. Um, yep, yeah, we're going to have that one in there. So they're going to come in and go out. So now we can have also one, two, we have another couple in there. So we can have three or four lines coming out of there, can't we? That would be good. From ferry to commercial places, from commercial to commercial, from commercial to ferry. I'm nearly at two hours. <gasps> you saying you want me to stop? I'm fine, thank you. We'll, we'll carry on a bit longer while we sort this out. Okay, so I'm going to remove this bus line. Let's see how many people are actually using it. Uh, what is this one called? Chai line? Chai line! Clockwise. We've obviously at some point removed the counterclockwise. Only 46 passengers. One vehicle! Oh my life! What the monkeys? And there it is. Imagine being on this bus line. Wow. And going all about this. Ricardo, enjoy your tea. That would just be nuts. Can I just come forward a bit so we don't get that? Let's just follow this around for a minute. That is one special bus. It's like... Yeah, that is nuts. So what we've got to think of is... People that live in the houses want to get to the commercial to shop. They want to get to the industry to work. That is basically the routes that you want to take. But to be able to get a lot of the people, you need to sort of go round where they live and stop outside, you know. Um, so that's why we end up having loops, because it just seems to work better in the game. Oh, tree on ward, and another tree on ward, and lots of trees on ward. Well, do you mind be... Excuse me. For goodness sake. Um... But, what was I saying before I got rudely cut off there? Oh, check the staff room. Oh, yeah, I tried. Hang on, me mouse. Let's do that. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I've done it again. Sorry. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. If I do that, and then I switch to that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Staff chat. There we go. Right, okay. I'll, I'll look at that later. Thanks, Mr. Needs. Oh, oh, we're back again. Yeah, and also, the other reason why I end up doing loops... Oh, my goodness, there's so many trees on the road. Don't look, children. Look at... Oh, dear. Is that you get an air of effect. So every time you place um, a stop of some kind, you see all the happy faces because there's like an air of effect around it. They go, yay, we've got bus services. So even though it might not necessarily be as realistic... Um... That's just what we end up doing. So, anywho. Let's just follow this bus for a minute. Lots of trees in the middle of the world, all over the place. It's just... It was because... That, oh, dear. The last time we... New Zealand, before it broke, the mods that we use for removing the trees and all stuff was a different mod. And then it got updated and changed. So then when I loaded it up, every single tree that had been hidden by placing a road down just all pops up through the road and if you put the mod in the way that it deletes all the trees that are underneath roads and things it will then delete anything that you sort of anarchied over you know you put some trees in a park over another asset and all of that it would just remove all of your handiwork so yeah i should do them more often thank you dir i appreciate that it's exactly what driving in wales looks like said mr knees even the trees in the road yeah yeah i think you're right so, yeah, we're following this bus. This is going to take 45 minutes to get <laughs> to go around this route. There's one poor bus on this route that never ends. So we're going to delete this route and we're going to we're going to redo it. So after I've just checked this message that's come through, it's that time of day when the kids will be coming home. I think we're OK. Yeah, we're fine. So back to the over here. Uh, buses, what was it called? Chai, something or other, clockwise. Chai line, that's the one. So only 39 people using it, one bus, it's gone. Boink. So we're going to pause the game. See, look, unhappy. These don't care. Did you notice that? So this route came down here, went round this roundabout. None of these people cared that it was removed. These people did. 
because the stop was there. So that's that area of effect that I'm talking about. So that's why I do loops. More cows in Wales. Cow on ward. Is, is that what you're trying to say? So, I'm going to ask this question and I'm going to have to wait 10 minutes for you to let me know. Shall we have this route here? Well, I'm going to do it and you tell me what you think. So, I'm going to just have a look at what all these are. So, these are all... We've got high density. We've got offices. We've got shops. So, they, they can walk to work and walk to shopping. They're, they're okay along here. It's not too much of a problem. Um, but if I come through the middle here to the university, I feel like we need to stop there. Backwards and forwards. Just sort of little shuttle bus running backwards and forwards. So that's going to be one of them. Love seeing me live. Thank you, James. So we're going to go from there. And then we're going to bring it through. It's going to go around the outside like this. So, all through there. Yeah, let's go around the outside. We'll go around the outside. Around the outside. Where are we going to go? Around the outside. So, we get a bit of air of effect. It can possibly pick up some people on the way. So, that stop was there. So, the next one's going to be in here in the university. I think this goes round in like a circle. Yeah, one way. And then when it goes back, we're going to go around the outside this way. Get some air of effect going on. Look, see, air of effect. We love it. These people don't care. And then come back. And that is going to be a loop because it's only very small. And I don't feel like I want one going the other way. So that that's going to be that one. And that's going to be the university line. And the idea is, is when we put one up to Brewbridge and one down to Chai Beach, that if anybody wants to go to university, they'll go to there, switch and come out here. 99 metres, but a train ain't one. Uh, so that will be line 40. Is that flashing? Nope. There's a higher number down here somewhere. 53. There we go. So that is the university line. There we go. <clears throat> thanks, Booty. Thanks for coming. Uh, and we're going to change it. We've got double decker buses on all of these lines just for the amount of people. But I think we can go for one of these nice newer buses. That's not too big. There is actually like a... There is a school bus, isn't there? I'm sure. Am I, I just gone, here it is, look. School bus. Why don't we use that one on there? That's its university line. We'll go with that one. I'm more into Venga Boys and Aqua. Oh, you're joking. We'll go with that one. And we'll sort of... It's almost the right colour. So we'll do that. This is my city, yes. I, I built it with my own bare hands. And then we're going to have another one which goes from here, and this one's going to come down the highway. It's not going to stop at all, and it's going to hit Brewbridge. And I'm thinking we might even take in... I mean, um, I don't think there's that many jobs over there. So we're just going to come in... Where shall we bring it? There's a school down here, isn't there? So if we just go through the middle here, stop outside the school, and then down this road to go out again, I think that's what it's going to be. And that's literally going to be it. Back to there and back. Now, look, why is that going all the way around there? Can't that just come in and go through here? All right, I'm going to join it up and have a look. Does that road... Oh, it doesn't. It goes under a bridge. Look, it goes under a bridge and then goes to here and goes all the way up. Darn it, trees on the road. Um, that's a bit of a pain. Could I add in... Oh, it's so down... Oh, I can't even add, like, a little bus lane there, can I, to come up? It's just... I, we just have to go for it, I think. Or could I add a little bus connection here, where the path is, and just let the buses come up here? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to delete this. And add a bus-only road in there. Bus, bus, bus. Bus only. Pedestrian street with bus only. That'll do. Why is the game not working? Oh, we're having an auto-save sip of tea moment. Better get that in. Yeah, I know there's trees on the road everywhere. You're in hospital. Oh, Maritina One. Sorry to hear that. I hope uh, things improve for you. Let's square that off. Let's take out Oon traffic light. That is like the smallest bus only road, but I have actually seen that before. So people can still walk through there. Why are you thinking you're on a pedestrian? Because you're ever so slightly near to that bus road. Well, we're going to fix that. Oh, I know what's happened. It's added a pedestrian 
thing around it. No, it hasn't. Why is that? Is it facing the wrong way? Maybe it was. There we go. Yeah, I've seen that happen before. Bus lane bypass. Now, has that meant the bus is going to go up there instead? No. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? So we're going to have to delete that line. Where is it? There. To... Oh, look, all the buses! <laughs> They're like, we just got here and it's been deleted. So we'll try that again. We're going to go from there. Let's see which way it's going. Down the highway to there. And then back again. Yay! There we go. That is exactly what we want. Excellent. So that's the Brewbridge district line, uh, which is going to be line 50 something down here. Nope. Line 40. Is it really? Nope. Well, it's not a line that's already got a name. Oh, have I got the automatically name the... I think I have. I've got the mod in that automatically names things. Ah. Those bus only roads need to ban the other cars extra. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Well, a lot of questions there, Aiden. Is Biffa going to do a new city for 2023? Uh, at the minute, we're doing the cities that we've got. I'm sure at some point another one will come up. Is Biffa connected with Colossal Studios? And does you know anything about CS2? Uh, yes, I'm connected with Colossal Studios. Uh, if I knew anything about CS2, do you think I'd be able to tell you? But at the minute, there's like no news on CS2, is there? So I'm as excited as everybody else. I would love, I would love to have CS2. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, which new one shall we use here? We've got the double-decker airport bus. I don't think this is going to be a hugely used line. So I'm thinking maybe like one of these will be fine. And we're going to just change that to purple. So there's that one. And then we've got the one that comes down here. Now with Chai Beach. Uh-oh. I'm trying to escape out of that and it's not letting me. There we go. With Chai Beach, if we have a look at what we've got down here, we've got a lot of residential. And then we've got this waterfront area with some sort of nice big buildings and all that sort of stuff as well. And I think this is, yeah, tourism. And we've got the ferry. So I definitely think the stop's got to come down to the ferry. That will cover this area. But I also think it's got to stop a couple of times through here. Or once through here. What is these buildings here? Medical clinic, that's a fire station, police station. At least once through here by the school would be good. <coughs> so, yeah. Let us do that and see what happens. So let's go in here. We're going to go from there. So that's going to come down the highway and come this way. So we'll have our one stop here by the school. We'll have our one stop there by the ferry. That's going to go down or through there. Okay, that's fine. What the heck? What? Buddy, the ferry the other side of the road? There. No. Is the, hang on. Council. Where is that ferry road connected? That ferry road is connected, like, all the way up here. Nope. Oh, man, there is, like, no other connection. All right, what we're going to do is this. We're going to remove this and all of this. And you know what we're going to put in here? We are going to put in bus-only expressway ramp. No. We're going to put in the pedestrian bus road again, like so. Ha! <laughs> Thought you were going to build a house there, did you? No. No, you're not. Yeah, we're going to go with that. That'll be fine. And then any traffic lights shall be removed. That one's fine. That side. And we'll go give way and give way. Excellent. And then we'll delete this and do it again because trying to get a line going that you've already tried to do and didn't work never works. So now if we go here, stop outside the school, you should scoot through there. Perfect. And then it's going to come back round. So we've got that one now with a bit of an air of effect. We're going to have one over here. 
right opposite the tourism stuff. And then it's literally going to go all the way back. And that's using that nice little cut through as well. So that is going to be Chai Beach. And that probably... Tranquility Point, Brew Bridge. And it's slightly changed the colour as well. 55 line. Yeah, that one hasn't been named. Is that this one? Is that flashing? It looks like it is flashing. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. So we'll change that to some red. And we'll go for this one here as well. Boink. There we go. You can stop at the pedestrian bus road. Oh, do you know what? That is very true. Let's move that round there. That's a good idea. And then we've got these two... It's not letting me come out of that view again. Oh, man. At some point, my game's going to break. There we go. These houses have decided to move in here. We're going to get rid of those and get rid of those and get rid of those. And you're going to go. And you're going to go. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to move that stop to there. That is a good idea. So... Do I still fix other people's cities? Yeah, if you send them in, maybe. We, we shall see. So two stops in there. See, this one here, yeah, it just goes around there. See, what I would have done in the past is dragged this one up to here so it picks up people from there as well. But we haven't done it this time. We've just left it to see how it goes. So let's just have a look in here and keep an eye on this. This is a very nice uh, bus stop, isn't it? Right there. So I'm going to leave that run in. And, yeah, boys are coming home from school. My eldest will be home in a minute. Yeah, I could have disabled zoning, but I've just removed the zoning, so that's fine. So what do you think about what I've done with the bus stops and the lines? Yeah, I, I haven't done a proper traffic fix for ages. It's like the amount of time that goes into finding one, a city that can be fixed without completely rebuilding the whole thing because it's so bad because that is to that to me is not a fix that's just me bulldozing everything and building a city that's not fun so it's got to be fixable but it's got to be a challenge and it's got to not have a million and one assets from the workshop and broken mods and all stuff like that because to get oh look at all the people coming over to use it to get all that working is like a real big thing so Sometimes just getting the thing set up to work is is tough. And I've just got to the point where I was just fed up with doing it. So I had to just take a break. Chai Beach. No, ah, oh, cable car. Yes, of course. Let's just have a quick look at that. Good shout on that one. So it goes over here. So if I bring that to back here, just the one stop by the cable car. That's, I think that's needed because... That then brings people over here. And then we've got the Save the Rock Hub with the other stops and things going around other places. Yeah, so that's where we are with City Fixes at the moment. It's like uh, when I can got the brain to do it, I'll do it. One more bus stop to the cable car. Yep, got that. Waste of tea? What are you talking about? Oh, you spilt tea on your keyboard. Don't do that. That really isn't a good idea. I just need... I've run out of tea. Hashtag save the rock. We didn't have any rocks to save today. Although I might be able to find one. Um, I've run out of tea. I'm now about to run out of water. Yeah, take a sip of tea. Don't spill it. Watch for the people on the bikes. Look at all the people coming. Wow. So where are all these people coming from? They're all coming from the train station, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. So let's check how these lines are going. Check behind the what, sorry? Check behind the bus station. The road is up the mountain. Oh, this road here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be because of the railway line. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this forward. Like so. And I think that should be fine. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for that. We'll go with that. Right, so let's check these lines then. Uh, see what's going on. Bum, 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 bum. Now I've got to find the three lines. Oh, they're all trying to fix themselves. Oh, no. No, they're fine. Cheeky key behind. Yeah, maybe. So you can watch the stream of Muggerty at work. Shh, don't, NB, shh, don't mention it. Um, so we had 54, which is now fixed. 
Five vehicles, 12 passengers. <laughs> 55. Which was... Seven, where was that? That's this red one here, isn't it? Why is that not flashing? Back to the lines. 54, 55. It is flashing. Which one was that one? Was that Chai... Chai line. Yeah, 55. So we'll leave that in there. Uh, chai? I feel like I spot that one. Yeah, Chai line. That'll do. Uh, so that might take a while to get going. And then we've got... I should have done them all like bright yellow or something so I could easily spot them. And then there's a yellow one, wasn't there? Fairview. What was the other one called? Bom, 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 bom. It'll have a number on it. Oh, hang on. No, it was... Uh, university line. There we go. 45 packs. So actually, already we've got more people on the lines than we had before. So actually, that's working okay, isn't it? Elevated railway, maybe. You don't need the insert number. No, I know, I know. Well, it's just, I don't think I realised I had the mod installed that was doing the automatic line things for me, but there we go. Yeah, we've got an elevated rail line already here. Look at this. But passenger one side, cargo the other. All fitted in and working in this area here. I'm loving this area here. Well, we did do a bit of transit fixing. And we did build a brand new area over here. Which I really like. And I think that's all worked out fantastically, isn't it? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? So, what am I going to say before you go? Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Be back Saturday for my next video. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the amazing support, the donations, the likes, the comments, and people buying memberships for each other, the gifts. It's just been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. And I'm going to have to go. So I'll leave you with watching this. And I will see you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.